just the look on my face tells you that i really enjoy this nigerian fried rice it is super easy to make very very tasty and delicious hello yummy and friends welcome back to the channel today i would like to share with you how i made this nigerian fried rice paired with some hot sauce and fried turkey if you are not subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so with me here i have my cleaned washed turkey i add in fennel seeds and then some ginger powder i'll also go in with my homemade seasoning powder which of course i'll be bringing you the recipe soon or you can check the description i have a link there then i add in some coriander seeds followed by some dried rosemary so i'll add in some fresh garlic so you can use powdered garlic and then i'll add some onions to it i'll then add in some black pepper powder give it a stir and marinate for about two hours so this is two hours after marinating the turkey i add in some water but actually this is um some stock i got from some vegetables okay so you can use water to um cook it i then added in more of the water give it a stir and then put it on fire to cook completely but before then the salt isn't enough so i'll add in more of the salt cover it and as i said cook it completely so while the turkey is cooking on the other hand i have some oil here i add in chopped onions and then fry it so it's a little translucent so now i'll go in with some curry powder i do not have turmeric powder at home but you can use little of turmeric powder and little of curry powder i added in some seasoning powder of course it's a homemade seasoning powder give this a very good stir and allow it to fry for just 30 seconds so i remembered i have some fresh herbs there so in goes some fresh rosemary and then some thyme it doesn't necessarily mean you can add it to it but i was having it there and this is the last one so i decided to add it in i give it a very good stir and now time to add in the rice in this recipe i am using basmatic rice but go ahead and feel free to use yasmin rice or pebbled rice and i'm going to give this a stir and fry this for about one minute on a medium heat meanwhile be sure to be checking your turkey or your chicken if that is what you are using and when it's completely boiled and cooked fry it in an oil or you can use an air fryer to fry it very well So it's been one minute for frying the rice i go in with the stock from the turkey and then give it a stir so i'll go ahead and add in a little bit of rice and then add the rest of the stock to the rice give it a very good mix and then cover it to boil and cook very well The rice is almost done now in this pan i have some oil in and i added in some ginger garlic paste i'm going to fry this for about 30 seconds i'll then add in some chopped onions and again fry this for just a few seconds Now I'll add in some carrots and once again fry this for just a few seconds. Time to add in the chopped mixed paprikas and then give this a very quick stir.
it. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, add oyster sauce and some dark soy sauce. Now give this a very good mix and make sure your fire is very, very hot. So I'm going to saute this for just 30 seconds or 45 seconds. So I have this dill here. You don't have to add it, but it just gives a very nice aroma. And then I'll saute it once again for just a few seconds. I told you I do not want the vegetables to be very soft. So I think at this point, it is okay. So to check on the rice, I think it is okay now, perfectly cooked. And I just love how it came out. But the only problem is there was too much oil in it. So when you're making yours, try as much as possible not to add too much oil to it. So I'm going to transfer rice into another pan. So I'm going to add in the vegetables and look at it. See how beautiful and vibrant the color is. Oh God. So I forgot to mention that when you are sorting your vegetables, you can add in some pepper to it. That is hot chili bonnet pepper. You can add some to it. But in this recipe, I totally omitted it because of one or two reasons. Now I give this a very, very good mix and add in some spring onion also you can use any vegetables of your choice and make sure to prep all your vegetables before starting their food now see we are done and it tastes so good and my turkey is well fried i just put them on and everybody enjoyed it huh. you need to try your hands on and you are going to thank me so far as i enjoyed it definitely you will enjoy it let's meet again in another video so then always remember to do everything in love and whenever you think food think yummy cash choose